Hello fantastic viewers welcome back to our channel where we simplify complex ideas for you Today we are delving into the world of structuralism an intriguing approach that helps us understand the hidden framework shaping our world Now let's get started To kick things off what exactly is structuralism Think of it as putting on a x-ray glasses for ideas allowing us to see the concealed structure beneath the surface today we'll explore the concept that defines structuralism first is binary oppositions imagine everything being understood in pairs like hot and cold love and hate this is known as a binary oppositions the yin and yang of structuralism where meaning emerges through the relationship with opposites now let's discuss the triangle of the structuralist envision a triangle with three corners signifier signified and referent signifier means the word signified means the concept and the reference means the real thing It's like a magic trick where the word points to an idea and that idea points to a real thing. Friends, I forgot to add one more slide and now your job is to find out about intertextuality. But I'll tell you in short. Have you ever felt like every story is connected? That's intertextuality in action. is the concept that every text forms a web of reference borrowing and building upon each other a literary conversation where everyone contributes i hope you understand now let's meet the brilliant minds behind structuralism and explore some remarkable works first is ferdinand de sachor Ferdinand de Saussure is often considered the grandparent of structuralism laid the foundation in his book Course in General Linguistics He explored how science operate in language Ferdinand de Saussure a Swiss linguist is a foundational figure in the development of structuralism particularly within the realm of linguistics His groundbreaking ideas have significantly in influence the study of a language semiotics and broader structuralist thought here's in here's an overview of ferdinand de saussure's influential work essential for your exam ugc net english first is course in general linguistics 1916 posthumously published This monumental work is a com- compil- compilation of Chaucer's lecture on linguistics given at the University of Geneva. The course in general linguistic is the cornerstone of Chaucer's legacy and structuralism. In this work he introduces key concept that have had a profound impact on the understanding of language. Next is concept of the sign. Saussure re- revolutionized linguistic theory by introducing the concept of the sign consisting of a two inseparable components the signifier the word or a sound pattern and the signified the concept it represent. This dual structure laid the foundation for his structuralist approach emphasizing the rational nature of a language next is synchronic and diachronic linguistics sachor distinguished between synchronic study of a language at a specific point in a time and diachronic study of a language evolution over time synchronic diachronic linguistics 
this distinction become crucial in understanding the structure and the functioning of a language system highlighting the importance of a studying language as a static synchronic system next is langyo and parol sasho introduced the concept of a langyo the underlying structure of a language system and a parol individual instance of a speech the this distinction underscored the idea that the true object of a study in linguistic is the abstract structure of a language rather than its con- concrete manifestation next is arbitrariness of the sign so sure argued for the arbitrary nature of the linguistic sign emphasizing that the connection between the signifier and the signified is not inherently logical or motivated by external factors this idea challenged earlier theory earlier theories that sought to find inherent connections between words and their meanings next is contribution to semiotics While Sasho's primary focus was a linguistic his ideas laid the groundwork for the broader field of semiotics the study of a signs and symbols his understanding of a sign as a relational entities influenced how scholar approach analysis of a meaning in a various cultural and symbolic system next is a legacy in a literary theory the show's ideas have transcended linguistic influencing literary theory and cultural studies his emphasis on the structural aspects of the language has been applied to analysis of narratives text and the cultural phenomena contributing to the development of structuralist literary criticism friends ferdinand d sashore work continues to shape the way scholars and researchers understand language and its role in shaping human thought his ideas are integral to the foundation of a structuralism making his work essential for those preparing for ugc net english exam particularly in the domain of linguistic and literary studies Next is C.S. Pierce, another linguistic genius, delved into sign as well. His theory dives deep into semiotics, the study of signs and symbols. Charles Sanders Pierce, an American philosopher, logician and scientist, made significant contribution to the development of semiotics and pragmatism. his work laid the groundwork for structuralist thought particularly in the study of signs and symbols here is an overview of a cs peers influential works crucial for ugc net english first is a gaze at the riddle published in 1887 In this early work Pierce introduced his ideas on semiotics emphasizing the triadic nature of signs He classified signs into three categories icon index and symbol a framework that became fundamental to semiotics analysis Next is pragmatism and pragmat Sorry pragmatism and pragmatism peers developed the philosophical movement known as a pragmatism which focuses on the practical consequences of ideas and the meaning derived from their effects later he refined this into pragmatism distinguishing it from other interpretation of pragmatism Next is how to make our ideas clear published in 1878 In this essay Pierce outlined his pragmat- pragmatic maxims a method for clarifying the meaning of concept 
by examining the practical implications. This work laid the foundation for his pragmatic approach to semiotics. Next is Logic of Relatives. Published in 1870, Pierce's logical contributions are evident in Logic of Relatives. Very explored rational logic, this work influenced later development in mathematical logic and provided a basis for understanding the, rela the relational nature of a science. Next is Categories and Semiotics Categories. Pierce de developed a system of categories to classify different kinds of science and phenomena. These categories become integral to his semiotics theory, offering way to understand the diverse way science functions. Next is Collected Papers. It was published posthumously. Much of Pierre's work was scattered across various publications. His collected papers compiled posthumously brings together a comprehensive collection of his writings, providing insight into his evolving ideas on semiotics, logic and philosophy. Next is Icon, Index and Symbol. One of Pierre's most enduring contributions is his classification of a science into three types, Icon, Index and Symbol. Icons represented by similarity, indexes by contiguity or connection, and symbols by convention. This triadic model become foundational in semiotics analysis. Next is evo evolutionary cosmology. Pierce applied his philosophical and scientific insight to the idea of evolutionary cosmology. His reflection on the evolution of ideas and the universe contributed to a broader understanding of how science and meaning evolve over time. Friends, C.S. Pierce's interdisciplinary approach combining philosophy, logic and semiotics has had a lasting impact on various fields. His ideas on science and symbols as well as his pragmatic philosophy are essential for those preparing for UGC Net English, particularly in the context of a semiotics and linguistic theory. Next is Claude Lévi-Strauss, the anthropologist extending structuralism to culture in the savage mind showcasing how cultural myths follow certain structures. Claude Lévi-Strauss, a French anthropologist and ethnologist, is a central figure in the development of structuralism, particularly within the realm of anthropology. His work revolutionized the study of a culture and societies, introducing structuralist principles to understand the underlying patterns that shape human behavior and thought. And here is an overview of a Claude Levi Strauss influential works crucial for UGC Net English. First is Structural Anthropology. Levi Strauss introduced the term Structural Anthropology in, his, in this seminal work. He applies structuralist methods to study of a kinship system and myths and rituals, emphasizing the underlying structure that govern cultural phenomena. Next is the elementary structure of a kinship, co-authored with Marcel Moss, published in 1949. In this collaborative work, Levi Strauss explored kinship structures using a structuralist framework. The study dwells into the analysis of a kinship system across various cultures, revealing common underlying patterns. Next is The Savage the Savi Mind, published in 1962. Levi Strauss examined the nature of a human thought and symbolism in the savage mind. He proposed that human cognition 
operates according to universal structure challenging earlier notions of a cultural relativism next is binary opposition and structural analysis levi strauss's application of a binary opposition as a structural tool was central to his methodology he argued that cultural phenomena could be analyzed through the identific identification or opposing pairs revealing deeper structure of a meaning next is myth analysis levi strauss applied structuralist analysis to myths treating them as a symbolic system with the inherent 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 structures his work demonstrated that seemingly diverse myths across culture could be understood through common underlying patterns next is the raw and the cooked published in 1964 this is the first volume volume of levi strauss's monumental work methodologies in it he analyzed the structure of a myths relate to food exploring how cultural categories are expressed through cul- to cul- culinary symbols Next is The Order of a Things published in 1966. Levi Strauss's ex- exploration of a language, culture and classification is evident in his, in this work. He examined the his- history of a human thought and the evolution of a system of a lang- knowledge. Introducing the concept of a bricolier and engineer in a cultural production. Next is Treaties Topic Topic Use published in 1955 while not strictly a structuralist work Treaties Topics is an autobiographical account of a Levi Strauss travel and experiences it provides insight in his into his intellectual development and encounter with various cultures Next is legacy in anthropology. Levi Strauss's structuralist approach had a profound impact on anthropology, influencing subsequent generations of scholars. His emphasis on uncovering deep structures in cultural phenomena has left an enduring mark, enduring mark on the field. Claude Levi Strauss works are essential for those preparing for UGC NET English exam especially in the context of cultural studies and anthropological approach to literature his structuralist analysis of myths and cultural symbols continue to shape the understanding of the university and diversity of a human thought Next thinker is Vladimir Prop. Vladimir Prop the storyteller analyzes folk tales in morphology of the folk tale breaking down stories into basic elements like unraveling the DNA of a story. Vladimir Prop a Russian folk folklorist and scholar made significant contribution to the field of structuralism particularly through his work and analyzing folk tales. his ideas presented in a straightforward and accessible manner have had a lasting impact on understanding the underlying structures of narrative storytelling and here is an overview of vladimir prop's influential works important for ugc net english first is morphology of the folk tale published in 1928 Prop's Prop's most famous work Morphology of the Folk Tale is like a treasure map for understanding folk tales. In this book he broke he broke down folk tales into basic buildings blocks under identifying common elements that appear in various stories. Next is the function of a folk tale. Prop identified 31 functions or recurring events that make up the structures of folk tales 
this this functions include things like a hero leaving home encountering villain and receiving a mag- magical helper by understanding this function we, we can see the patterns that make stories stick next is character types dramatic personae prope characterize characters in folk tales into character types like a, like the hero the villain and the donor who gives something valuable and the dispatcher who sends the hero on a quest these character types help us recognize familiar roles in different stories next is the seven spheres of action prope outlines seven common areas where the hero's action take place such as their uh, their home a magical world or a dangerous journey this helps us see how folk tales often follow similar paths despite being from a different cultures next is influence on structuralism prope's work laid the groundwork for structuralist analysis of narratives his method of breaking down stories into smaller components influenced story studying various forms of storytelling not just folk tales next is legacy in literary studies beyond folk tales probes ideas have been applied to analyze a wide range of narratives including literature and movies his concepts have become tools for understanding the deep structures that shape stories vladimir probes work is like a guidebook for storytellers and story lovers by revealing the common elements in folk tales he showed showed us the timeless patterns that capture our imagination for ug senate english probes probes inside are valuable for anyone interested in the structural analysis of narratives from classic tales to contemporary stories next is aj gramas aj gramas bought us the actential model a superhero hero blueprint for stories illustrating the roles characters play aj morris aj gramis a french lithuanian linguist and simotician simotician brought fresh perspective to structuralism particularly in the study of uh, narratives and science his ideas while intricate can be understood in simple terms here is an overview of aj gramias influential work important for ug senate english straight forward language his first important work is structural sem- semantics an attempt at a method published in 1966 Gramas introduced the concept of a actential model in this work a tool to analyze the roles of a character in narratives think of it as a superhero blueprint for stories showing who does what actential model heroes and villains Gramas suggested that stories have specific roles like a hero who who seeks a goal a villain who opposes them and other characters with the defined functions the actential model helps us see the drama in narratives next important work is narrative grammar narrative grammar units and levels published in 1970 gramias gramas extended his ideas to narrative grammar breaking down stories into units and levels It's like dissecting this a story to see its basic components and the layers of a meaning. Next is Semiotics, Semiotics and Language. Published in 1983, Gramias contributed to Semiotics, the study of a science and symbols. He explored how science work in a language and how they create meaning. Imagine understanding the secret of language 
of stories next is grimaire's dictionary of structural semantics grimaire scholar collaborated on the on this comprehensive dictionary offering expansion explanation of key terms in structural semantics it's like a guidebook for anyone wanting to navigate the language of science next is legacy in narrative theory grimaire's ideas influenced narrative theory in helping scholars and storytellers analyze the underlying structure of tales his attentional model become a valuable tool for understanding character dynamics in stories next is application to cultural studies scholars applied grimaire's theories to analyze not only stories but also cultural phenomena his work provided a lens to understand the deep structure of a meaning in various forms of communication friends ag grimaire's contributions are like a decoder for stored stories by unveiling the roles characters play and the grammar grammar of narratives he opened a door to understand the hidden structures that give stories their power for uses in net english grimaire's insights are essential for those understand in delving into the mechanics mechanism mechanics of storytelling and language of science friends i know you are feeling bored but we have to study hard for our exams so so pause the video take 5 minutes break and start and and then start study again pause the video now let's start study our remaining thinkers next is gerard jennets gerard jennet focused on storytelling in narrative discourse exploring how stories are told and unraveling the threads of narrative gerard jennet a french theory a literary theorist made important contribution to structuralism focusing on the analysis of a narrative structures and storytelling techniques here is a simplified overview of a gerard uh, gerard jennet's influential works crucial for ugc net english first is narrative discourse an essay in method published in 1974 in this book jennet introduced the concept of a narrative discourse analysis a method to study how stories are told it's like a peeking behind the curtain to see the storyteller tricks next is narrative time narrative discourse revisited published in 1983 Janet explored the complexities of narrative time distinguishing between order of events means chronology and the order of their presentations means narrative order this hel- this helps us understand how stories play with the time next is narrative voice narrative discourse revisited published in 1983 Janet delved into narrative voice examining who tells the story and from what perspective it's like a considering if the narrator is a character in the story or an invisible observer next is narrative mood narrative discourse revisited published in 1983 janet Janet introduced the concept of a mood exploring the tone of the narrative. It is told with excitement, sadness or a detachment. This adds a layer to how we experience stories. Next is paratext. Paratext thresholds of interpretation published in 1987. 
Janet expanded his analysis to paratext those elements around a text like titles, preface and footnotes. It's like looking at the frame around a painting to understand more about the artwork. Next is Palimpsests. Palimpsests Literature in the Second Degree, published in 1982. Janet explored palimpsests or texts that refer to other texts. It's like finding hidden message within a story where one text is layered upon another. Next is intertextuality, palimpsest literature in the second degree, published in 1982. Janet touched upon intertextuality where one text reference or it's influenced by another. It's like a conversation between stories, each one echoing the others. Next is Legacy in Literary Studies. Janet's work become influential in literary studies, providing a toolbox for analyzing the intricate structures of narratives. His concepts are like key to unlock the secrets of storytelling techniques. Gerard Janet's ideas are like a guide to unravel the story of a, the art of storytelling. By breaking down how stories are told, he gave us a roadmap to understand the choices writers making a crafting narratives. For UGCNet English, Janet's insights are invaluable for those who want to explore the intricacies of narrative structures. Next is Mikhail Bakhtin. The dialogue expert added a social flavor. His work on a dialogism and polyphony showed how voices interact in text. Mikhail Bakhtin, a Russian literary critic and philosopher, played a crucial role in the development of structuralism, especially in the study of a language, literature and culture. Let's explore a simplified overview of a Bakhtin's influential work, Importance for UGC Net English. First is Rebelize and His World, published in 1965. In this work, Bakhtin delved into the Renaissance writer Rebelize, exploring how humor and carnival elements challenge traditional structures. It's like a discovery, discovering the lively upside down world in rebellious writings. Next is Dialogism, the, dialog the dialogic imagination published in 1975 Bhaktin introduced the concept of a dialogism emphasizing the importance of a dialogue and multiple voices in literature it's like a recognizing that every story is conversation where different perspectives come together next is carni carnivalization rebellious and his world Bhaktin explored the concept of a cannibalization where festive and chaotic elements challenge authority. It's like a literary party that breaks the rules, creating a dynamic sub subversive atmosphere. Next is Polyphony, po Problem of a Dostoevsky's Poetics, published in 1929. Bhaktin discussed polyphony suggesting that in a great literature multiple voices and perspective coexist it's like a listening to a symphony of voices each contributing to the richness of the narratives next is hitoglossia discourse in the novel published in 1934-35 bhaktin introduced the idea of a hitoglossia the presence of a diverse linguistic and cultural voices in text. It's like acknowledging the variety of a language and tones within a single story. Next is Chronotope. Forms of the time and Chronotope in the novel. 1937-38 Bhaktin explored the concept of a Chronotope, the connection between time and space in literature. 
it's like recognizing that where and when a story untold deeply influences its meaning next is legacy in literary theory bhakti's ideas influenced literary theory particularly in understanding the dynamic and social aspects of a language and narrative its concepts are like windows opening onto complex interplay of voices in literature friends mikhail bakhtin's works is like an in- invitation to a literary festival by exploring the live lively conversation disruptions and diverse voices in literature he showed us that storytelling is a dynamic and ever changing endeavor for uji senet english bhaktins insight are essential for those interested interested in understanding the social and dialogue dialogic nature of language and literature finally roland barthes and his work mythologies he scrutinized everyday things revealing hidden meanings and structure in the mundane Roland Barthes, a French literary theorist and philosopher, made a significant contribution to structuralism, particularly in the analysis of language, science, and cultural symbols. Let's explore a simplified overview of a Roland Barthes' influential work, crucial for Eugenet English. First is Mythologies published in 1957 Barthes explored how everyday objects events and popular culture carry deeper cultural meanings It's like uncovering the hidden stories behind things we often overlook turning them into cultural myths Next is Semiotics Elements of a Semiology published in 1964 Barthes dwelt into semiotics the study of signs and symbols he examined how signs convey meaning and how they shape our understanding of the world it's like a learning the language of a signs that surrounded us next is death of the author published in 1967 barthes ta- challenged the traditional view of the author's authority over a text he argued that once a work is created its meaning is shaped by readers and the cultural context it's like freeing a story from the control of its creator next is structural analysis as published in 1970 Barthes applied structural anal- analysis to literature breaking down Balzac's to a uh, short story Saracen it's like a dis- dissecting a narrative to reveal its underlying structure and patterns Next is the fashion system the fashion system published in 1967-68 Barthes examined the world of fashion exploring how clothing and style communicate cultural messages It's like a decoding the language of a fashion and understanding the statements it makes. Next is photographic Camera Lucida published in 1980. Barthes explored the nature of photography and its emotional impact. He introduced the concepts of a stadium, the cultural meaning of a photograph and punctum the personal emotional detail it's like capturing the essence of a photograph impact next is autobiography ronald barthes by roland barthes published in 1975 in this work barthes experimented with the autobiography challenging traditional narrative forms it's like turning the lens on himself exploring identity and storytelling in a unique way Next is legacy in cultural studies. Barthes' ideas had a profound impact on cultural studies. 
encouraging scholars to analyze various aspects of a culture as a text his concepts are like tools for understanding the layers of a meaning in everyday life Friends, no Roland Barthes' works is a like a journey into the language of a signs and symbols that surrounded us. By questioning traditional notions of authorship and exploring the cultural meanings embedded in everyday life, he paved the way for new ways of understanding language and culture. For UGC net English Bathurst insight are essential for those interested in semiotics literary theory and cultural analysis. Few that was a quick journey through structuralism. If your mind is a buzzing with the ideas hit that like button subscribe for more brainy breakdowns and share your share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm your friend signing off stay curious all the best and thank you so much bye